Recently, I've been having star problems. My stars have just been looking really fat, ugly, disgusting, and discolored with my new Rokinon 135mm lens. And I think I finally figured out the reason. The camera I use is the Canon EOS 70D DSLR. And my stars being all disgusting and stuff is not due to the broken on 135 lens. It's because of this camera. You see, this is a full spectrum modified DSLR. So it's a Canon 70D. So that means full spectrum modified, everything in front of the sensor is taken out in the modification. So basically there's no UV IR cut filter in there to block out that disgusting light around that's making that red light that's making the stars um, bloated and fat even when I have it perfectly focused. And it actually comes with this disgusting purple looking color. So basically there's nothing in there so all that light's coming in. So, one second. This filter right here should fix that and that's what I'm going to try out tonight. So the test is beginning now. We have Orion obviously framed up there focused. And remember, this is without the filter attached to the camera lens. So I'm gonna compare, after this exposure fires, I'm gonna compare this one to the next one with the filter and I'll put those both on the screen for you so we can analyze ourselves how much of a difference um, the filter will make with these stars. But this is the first exposure right here. And it, I'll put it up on the screen for you to see better, but it looks pretty decent and the stars actually this is without the filter the stars don't look so bad So now I'm gonna put the filter on and see if it makes any difference I'm actually curious what you're about to see is gonna shock you and it shocked me look look how purple this photo looks This is the one without the filter, right? Then let's flip it Look at how much better that looks. Just like, it looks like a natural sky. And it works, it almost acts like a light pollution reducer in a sense too. The difference between the image without the filter and then the one with the filter, you can really see um, how much of a big difference it is. And although the colors are different in both photos, that's basically just a white balance issue. You can fix that in, um, in post-processing but it makes it so much easier and just easier on the eye when I have sub exposures coming in already looking fairly good. And especially the one thing that really this filter was meant for is those stars. So I'll put up uh, another picture I took over the summer on the screen right now. And this picture is of the Cocoon Nebula. And as you can see, the stars are very on, um, like taking over the photo. And these stars are even taking over after I have um, really done processing on them in Photoshop. So you can see that there's just that little purple, um, like outer layer. And that filter, this is taking that away in some of my other photos. So, so that's how this new filter I've gotten has fixed my star problem and just makes the photos so much easier to um, look at out of the camera and process. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to um if you're watching this video right now, you see that subscriber count right there, 1.5k subscribers. Make sure to press that sub button, okay? That manage videos button is where the sub button is. Click it. And until next time, clear skies.